So how do you know that something is a scam? I'm talking about those adverts that pop up and tell you that if you invest this amount of money, you're going to get times four, times five, times 10 back of your money. It sounds like a scam, but you know your neighbor who tried it and they made money from it. So you're scared that you might miss out. What about those other adverts that tell you that if you click on this button, you're going to get a free iPhone or a free Samsung? How do you identify scams so that you know whether to invest your time and your money? You don't want to lose. What do you need to do? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can identify scams so that you'll never be scammed again. Let's go. Curious to know, please let me know in the comments section below, have you ever been scammed before? If you have been scammed, please tell us your story. What happened to you and uh, how did you finally figure out that you had been scammed? I am asking you to do this because there are many other people who might fall for the same scam that you fell into. So you leaving a comment can potentially help someone. Even if it wasn't you who was scammed or maybe you know someone who was, just tell us in the comment section below. So let me start off by saying I have been scammed three times. The first time it was an investment scam. I put my money somewhere. It was about a thousand US dollars or 15,000 rands. Not a lot of money today, but to me at that time, it was everything I had. And because I didn't check certain things, I then lost that money and it really crushed me. It really cost me a lot and I found myself in trouble. The other two times is because firstly, I, tr I, tr I trusted someone I shouldn't have trusted. And the other time, let's just say it's too embarrassing for me to actually share on this video. I even laugh at myself today. But why am I telling you this? I just want to let you know that probably some of you have been scammed before and it's not your fault. I know you can look at yourself and say that I, you made a stupid decision, but hey, guess what? We don't get taught this stuff in school. We don't get taught how to identify scams. So what I'm trying to do with this video is to help you to make the right decisions going forward so that you'll be able to identify if something is an opportunity or it's something that you should run away from. But before we get into it, if this is your first time watching any one of my videos on my channel, I have got a free training where I teach people the drop servicing method, which is simply connecting people online and you're going to be getting paid for that. And I have a free masterclass training which potentially teaches you how to make your first $1,000 or your next $1,000 online using this drop servicing method. You're going to be simply connecting people who are service providers to people that need their services. There's a lot for me to explain, but the best way for you to get into it is to click that link, register for the free masterclass and see if this business idea will work for you. So I thought the best way to actually explain how you can identify a scam is by actually showing you guys a scam. The other day I was just on YouTube watching other YouTube videos about how to make money online and then this popped up. As you can see, I'm on YouTube here and this advert popped up where there's this very beautiful lady here and she's carrying two phones. One is a Samsung, the other one is an iPhone and she's saying that, hey guys, you can actually join this company and they will send you a free Samsung, a free iPhone for just $2. All you have to do is simply click on this button that's here uh, and then you're going to get this free uh, products. So I went ahead and I clicked on the button and then it brought me to this page here where they're just simply saying that what is product testing, technology product testers, blah, blah, blah. All you have to do is just answer the few questions and then they're going to send you a free iPhone uh, or a Samsung and it's just going to cost you two dollars. The only reason why you're, they say that the reason why you're paying two dollars is because um, it's going to help with like the shipping. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually download the video and put it on this video so that you can watch it. It's very short. It's about 30 seconds. Please watch it to the end. And then I'll explain how you can identify that this is a scam. Hey, guys, I want to present you with a brand which gives you the chance to receive free products from big technology companies like Apple or Samsung, where you can receive this by applying at producttesting.org. To apply, just sign up by swiping up or clicking on sign up under this video. The application is free, you just need to pay a small verification fee of two USD. If your application was accepted, then the product will be shipped to you and after completing the product survey online, you can keep it and enjoy it for free. So the first way that you can identify this is a scam is by following a principle we use in the online space that says if something sounds too good to be true, then it is too good to be true. Where have you ever seen a smartphone, an iPhone, a Samsung for $2 only? You just pay $2 and then they ship it to you. That already shows you that there's something wrong. They're saying that they just need you to register and then that $2 covers the shipping costs. 
I want you to also think about it. Even if you were getting that phone for free from maybe a relative or someone wherever around the world, does it cost $2 to send you a phone? It probably means they're running on a loss. So what are they benefiting? So that already shows you that there's something wrong there. The second way that you can identify that this is a scam is right at the start of the video, she firstly says, hey guys, and then she mentions that there is a brand that can give you these free phones. She later on mentions that you can go to producttesting.org to see the details, right? By her starting off by saying, hey guys, it tells me that this advert is for everyone. Now, if you know iPhone and you know Samsung, especially if it's the latest, you know that these products are very expensive. Not everyone can afford them. But here is an advert that's saying that anyone can get these things. What they're trying to do is that they're trying to target those people who don't have money to buy this stuff, right? Giving them the assumption or the feeling that you also can have these things for but paying very little money. They always attack the people who don't know. They always attack the people who have got little money to get that little money out of their hands and into their pockets. Why? Because they know that people who generally don't have money, they don't consider a lot. They just are looking for the easiest way, the fastest way to get an advantage. And also, whenever someone mentions a website, like she mentions, she mentions producttesting.org, before you click on the link that she mentions, you should go and search for the website yourself. Now, when you test on the sign up button, it's going to bring you to this page here, right? As you can see, it's product testing uh, and all the details are there. What you need to do is like you need to copy the address of the website. And so you just come here. She said producttesting.org. I just copied this, right? I'm going to press control C. That's for me to copy. And then I'm going to open it up in a new tab, just like that. And then I paste it there. And this is their original website. What we saw earlier on was just one of their pages of the website, but this is the original page of the website. Now, if this is a legit company, obviously they are going to have a beautiful, amazing looking website. Just from the start, you can already see that there is something wrong with this website, right? And they just have these random pictures, Nina Mary, um, Isabella Manny, Mary Moin, these are just pictures that you can find on the internet and then just post them. Now, how do you identify that a website is not legit? The first thing is the website is just too simple. It shows you that probably this website maybe was made in five minutes. Secondly, every legit company out there has got social media. Where is their social media? Where are the social media handles at the bottom of the page? You can see that there's got nothing to do with social media there. The third thing, every legit company has got uh, a menu section because they've got different things that they're offering. They have got absolutely no menu here. The reason why they don't have a menu here is because they want you to do only one thing. They just want you to come and click on start and then you go to the advert. You go to the place where they're saying that you can get this. Why? Because they don't want to uh, show you other things. They just want you to click that button and then pay that money and then you're going to get that phone that they say they're going to send to you. And lastly, who are these people who owns this company, who is running this company, every legit website at the bottom of the page, either you can go to the social media platforms or there's details about, okay, this company copyright, uh, this company was started maybe in this year and then there's details, there's privacy policy, terms and conditions, but this one has got absolutely nothing. Why? Because they just want you to pay your money, but they don't want you to what? Know who they are or where they are from and you cannot get a refund. Another thing that you can do is just copy the URL, right? The name of the company like that. I'm just going to copy that. I press Control and C. I'll open a new tab and then I'll paste it there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this .org and I'm going to remove this um, at the start and I'm just going to end up with product testing, right? This is another thing that you can do. Just add the word scam like that. And then as you can see, you can do this for anything, right? Anything that you're, you are not sure about just simply do this. You will find a lot of reviews. Product testing scam promises free iPhones and other fake stuff. Product testing scams are rife. Alarm bells should ring if you're offered cash or expensive gadgets like an iPhone or Xbox in exchange. What? For $2. You can go through all these different, different articles and you see that there are so many people who are all saying that this is a scam. Now, am I saying that every single time when there's a bad review, it means that a product or a company is, is a scam? No. 
But if you go through this one, you'll see that everything is this. If there's no one who says this thing is legit. There may be one or two who are hired to say that, but the majority of everyone who is who actually posts on these different websites, they are all saying that it's a scam. Another thing that you'll notice about this website when I click it from the YouTube video is um, at the bottom, obviously, there are the details, right? But there are, there are three things that you'll notice. Firstly, right here, it says your place has been temporarily reserved, time remaining 26 minutes. According to this, there are 26 minutes left, otherwise I'm going to miss out. If I close this page and I come back to it tomorrow, it's still going to say 26 minutes remaining, right? The other one, it says places remaining in South Africa 9, right? And notice the color is different. It's trying to create urgency to tell you that if you don't do it now, you're going to miss out. It's trying to make you feel like, hey, you're going to miss out. Now listen, urgency is something that we as marketers use all the time. It's not a bad thing right but in this case it's a bad thing because put together with all the other things i've been telling you about in this video it's making you make a decision that you need to do this thing right now and then you end up buying right you end up paying your money and yet this is a scam a proper example of urgency is when for example maybe a grocery store uh, puts it out online that if you come and buy buy before friday you can get stuff at a discounted price that's an example of how companies use urgency in a legit way and then when you scroll down the page here and then it says get a free product right there are these buttons that you need to press here are you a male or female i tell you regardless of what you press you are going to qualify so i'm just going to say i'm a female right and then it's asking me, how old are you? I'm just going to say I am 51 years and above. Your first test product in the survey you answer about is it will determine if you are eligible, right? I'm going to click on no. I clicked on no, but it's still asking me to for my name, my email, my number. I'm just going to put some fake details there. I'm going to say um, T Wanda. My email m d e l at gmail dot com south african number i'm just going to say zero five eight nine five two eight nine six three five right that's just a number that i made up i'm going to click on sign up finding available products now this is if i just made this stuff up but can you see what's there on the page success found products right i qualify claim here free product postage for them to send this to me is 34 rands only i have to claim here now and then what happens i'm going to enter my name my address my zip code on the next page it's going to ask me for what my credit card details now one other advanced hack that you actually can use to find out more about an advert and who is the one who's creating the advert whether they're legit or not is that you can do this you can unfortunately you can only do this on desktop uh you can't do it on mobile but what you can do is like you can just first of all you, while the advert is playing you just click on the advert can you see it's playing now i'm going to pause it you just right click right and then you come here this is going to pop up you come here where it says stats for nerds and you click on that right this is going to pop up and show you this what you want to do first is come here to the top of the video you're going to copy this you this url address here you're going to copy it and then you're going to open it in a new window like this and paste don't don't press enter right then i want you to remove all the words until you get to where it says equals okay i remove the equals i'm going to put it back where it says equals there right and then I want you to come back to this page. Then where it says video ID SCPN, the first numbers that appear there up to there, right? I'm not copying the whole thing. I'm just copying until it gets to where it says eight. For every video, it's going to be a different number or symbols. I'm just going to copy that. Control C. And I'm going to come back here where it says equals and I'm going to paste it there, right? And then I'm just going to press enter. What it will do is that it's going to show me the original hey guys, advert, right? So this is where I got the advert from, right? I'm able to see the original advert in full. When you are watching adverts, you can't save them. But if you do what I showed you right here, it will show you the original advert in full. And now when you look at the advert, you realize that this advert has been shown to 179,458 viewers since November 2020. 
So this is a scam that they run and they switch off. They run and they switch off. Maybe they run it until maybe people are talking about it. Then they switch it off. Then when people have forgotten about it, they run it again. Right? And where you now see that this is a scam. If you thought maybe I was just talking nonsense and I don't know what I'm talking about. If you come to the comments section of this channel, you realize that everybody here, there is not even one single, I went through all the comments, there's not even one single comment that says this is legit. It's to scam you into paying a monthly subscription fee based on their offer of discounted prices on goods. In other words, you think you're paying once, but you're going to be paying every single month, right? And it's going to be hard for you to actually remove that. They keep debiting my account. Oh no, did you cancel the subscription after 24 hours? Okay, let me jump to the next one. Does anyone know this girl's Instagram? She needs to know that she's scamming people by sharing false information. She's probably an influencer who got paid to do this. Like I mentioned earlier on, these are just people who are paid. And if you are looking for, okay, where do they find these people? If you go to Upwork.com, if you go to Upwork.com and search for voice over, right? Artist, and then you just search for that. You're going to find all these different people who can do voices for you or they can do videos just like this lady. This lady was probably paid from a platform like this. Can you see this guy is saying that I charge $100 per hour, right? So he's going to do that video for that company and maybe just get paid $100, right? She creates the video, she gets paid $100. That company that then takes the video and starts scamming people. So going back to what I said earlier on, if it sounds too good to be true, chances are very high that it is too good to be true. It's probably a scam. So you need to make sure that you do all these checks, all these different things I mentioned. Make sure you check so that you don't get scammed. So please leave me a comment and let me know, have you been scammed before or how were you scammed before? And also let me know if this type of content is stuff that you want to see. Should I go ahead and create more videos showing you other scams and how to identify them? I was just thinking that maybe this is something that you guys may be interested in, but I need feedback from you guys so that I know whether this is content you guys want to see. And make sure you hit the like button to show your support. And just a reminder, I have got that free masterclass where I train people and show them how to make their first $1,000 online using a drop servicing method. If you want to find out what the drop servicing method is, click the link in the description below. Anyways, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so that you'll be notified every single time I create content just like this designed to help you to achieve financial success, even if we're also talking about scams and how to avoid them. You might also be interested in checking out these other videos here, which will show you different ways that I teach of creating income online. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.